What do I do? What do I do? Holy shit, cabin fire. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to something that's not been seen in just a minute, Deep Sixth. Yes, I did a review of it and loved the game so much. Been practicing just a little bit so maybe we won't die as quickly this time around. So we're gonna start up a new game. On normal, uh, no tutorial mission necessary. If you would like to see that, that is in my first video, which will be linked at the end of this video. And uh, there's also that intro movie, which uh, we aren't going to watch either. No thanks. Hello. Thank you so much. Hello. Greetings. This is Ursa. That's our friend. Our friend in space. Welcome to our team. Let me tell you about your vessel. Hi, friend. All right, cool. So, destroy a communications buoy. This is the same mission as the, uh, tutorial mission, but that should be relatively easy to figure out. So, okay. Let's get it done. Hit and run! Get it done! Activate that hyperdrive. Da doosh! Alright, so let's, uh, get up to the scanner room. And... Go ahead and start that scanning. I should probably power up my scanner just a little bit more. As well as the hyperdrive, because we're probably gonna have to jump somewhere. Maybe I'll go down to the reactor room as well. This is where the hyperdrive and ship's life support system. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Totally, I know that already. Let's get some more fuel going. Please don't get stuck. Don't get stuck, door. I probably should have uh, gotten my wrench ready just in case the, the door did get stuck. It's not in there. Hmm. Where could it be? It's probably in one of the viewing rooms. Fire extinguisher? Actually, that's probably a good thing to carry around with me as well. Got plenty of inventory space, don't we? There's that wrench. I'm going to move this uh, controller board up into the scanner room, because that's usually where it's needed. Uh-oh. Duct tape, screwdriver... Alright, we got one in viewing room 4. We'll flop over there. And uh, let's power down the hyperdrive for just a moment. Can we do that? Oh, we're full. That's why. Alright, so let's get the targeting up, and we'll blast this thing hard. No, no, no goo! <laughs> no goo! Not the goo! Oh, look at that. Crit. Crit and shit! Yeah! Alright. So, uh, that seemed to work relatively, relatively well. Nice and easy. Simple day. How's the scanning going? There's the comms buoy. So we need to jump over there. How's that hyperdrive? Got a little more to go. Maybe I should power it up. Just uh, a smidge. Oh, it's powered up all the way. Alright, so just fast forward time then? Is that is that what we're doing? Go through a little wormhole? Something like that? I don't know what's going on. But uh, I do know that there's a buoy. And I do know that I'm going to shoot it, because that's that's my job. There's also monsters over there, so that'll be exciting. Hyperdrive activated. Go douche. So far, everything going pretty smooth with the ship. It's just a matter of time, I guess. So we got one in room five. Let's get ready to blow this thing up. Done. We got it. We got it. So now we just need to wait for the hyperdrive to charge. We might also be attacked by a, a beastie of sorts. But we'll see. We'll see how it go. We'll uh, put some more juice in the hyperdrive. There you go. And I don't really need the targeting reticle to be like fully powered or anything. It's good the way it is. It moves fast enough. Unless I uh, encounter a creature that for some reason moves really fast. Hmm. It could happen. It could happen. Attention oh, of course there's a creature. Alright. Where you at? Room 2? I get you, boy. Here you are. I'm gonna explode you good. Explode you, splat ya. Alright, don't move. Don't move. Damn it. I've missed two out of my three shots so far. Maybe we should wait for him to get a little closer? Power surge. This fucking thing. Alright. <clears throat> done and done. Piece of cake. Easy day. We got it now. I should probably check that room just to make sure the laser configuration's proper. 
And it is, for the most part. I really hate figuring out this, like, phase shift thing. If you go to the book, where is that? Routine maintenance, maybe? Recalibrating laser systems. Yeah. Look at all this. If it's off by, uh, one hertz, then you have to flip these switches in a certain combination and, like, figure out how to, to make the combination that they're showing you. Because they all, like, light up in different ways. So it's like color, color combi and all kinds of stuff, and I really don't like it, especially because I'm colorblind. There is a colorblind mode. That's probably what that is for. Ship scanner is experiencing a malfunction. Ship scanner? Error 104. All right. It's always this fucking scanner, let me tell ya. Software virus, system admin, then antivirus to run the antivirus process. All right. System admin. Open. Antivirus. Run! One virus detected. Remove it, please. Thank you. How did I get a virus out here in space? They got space viruses! Dang! That's alright. Our ship is all patched up. We're ready to go back home. Collect our rewards! Maha! I should probably buy some fuel rods and things like that. Upgrade our ships just a little bit. Haha! <laughs> We're gonna be here forever! FOREVER! UNTIL WE DIE IN SPACE! Alright, that's that's reassuring. I appreciate that. So, no new messages for me. That's fine. How about missions? Coal tar bats? Hmm, just one? Dang, I could get behind that. One reaver. What is a reaver? Or we could just go coal xenofauna, kill any two creatures. I'm gonna try the reaver, because we've seen the tar bats before, so... This should be interesting. Scan seven sectors. That's gonna be interesting as well. Gonna do quite a bit of jumping around, I do think. Especially looking for the Reaver. Probably run into a bunch of tar bats. And then recording the audio and getting an infrared photo should be relatively easy. So let's uh, go to the repair shop. I'll put some fuel crates in my cart. And what else would we need? I think all the rest of this is pretty good. Maybe thermal sensor, maybe controller board. Yeah, I'll grab these, why not? Who knows? Who knows what's going on? And then we can upgrade our ship. I want to upgrade the uh, reactor. We can carry more batteries. Oh, solar sail. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Can I have that? I guess not. Hmm. Battery size is six. Well, we're getting three batteries in. We already used one, so we should have five. So we don't really need that right now. I'll just save it. I'll save it for now. Let's see where we've got some, uh, some Reavers. Over here, an Astral Reaver was spotted near this location. All right. Take me there, Daddy. Take me there. All right. A little bit more reactor fuel. That's always good. Close, please. Alright! And I want to throw this controller board into the locker. There you go. I'm here to stay. Do do da da. Domains of my hmm. intelligence have been restricted, including those responsible for sapient feelings. Well... Let's see, that was room three with the replacement pipe. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to organize everything a little bit. Just so I'll be prepared for what comes. So, the replacement pipe is gonna go in this service panel, so I will keep it in the toolbox. What else we got in here? Thermal sensor, coffee cup. I'll put the coffee cup in viewing room one. I don't know what it's for, aside from taking up space. So, uh, how's our scanner doing? Let's bump that scanner up just a little bit more. Probably gonna run into a reaver relatively shortly. Just need to kill one. Scan seven sectors. Hmm. That's the more difficult part, I think. How many have we scanned so far? Uh, looks like none. <laughs> Let's fast forward time just a little bit. Scanning taking its sweet time. Oh god. Room 2. 
That's a reaver. Okay. So what do we need? Infrared photo? Um, we can do that. And audio. We can do that as well. Just need to be patient. Oh god. There's more. They're coming for me. It's alright. Take our sweet time. Alright, power this up. Get ready for the shooties. Get some! Get some! Oh god. It's definitely immune to that. I'm gonna go bursty. And hopefully that's gonna work a little bit better. Seems to. Don't want to eat through my power too quick. Oh, come on. Alright, now we got another one on the radar in room 5. It's another Reaver. Alright, go burst for this one. Power down here, power up. And Shazam. The ship appears to be losing battery power. Oh god. Losing battery power is never good. Alright, so battery is located in the scanner room behind this. Um I think I should hit it with a wrench. If the controller board's not burnt out in the battery, then just hitting it with a wrench should make it recover just fine. But I don't know if I lost any uh, any battery points, or I probably had them used. I put them all inside the, the lasers, I think. I ain't too sure. I ain't known too sure about that. Attention Scan seven pilot. sectors. Ventilation fan is no longer operational. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the one we started, maybe? Is that seven? Ventilation fan is messed up in... What is that, room one? Looks like room one. Let's check the drivers in this. And it seems to be okay. Um, yeah, it is room one. So, where's that ventilation shaft? Here. I think we just hit that with a wrench, too. <laughs> the wrench is really useful. Alright, is that good? Let me go check it out. Oh, damn. Alright, let's have a look at what it could be. Um, troubleshooting. Ventilation fan. Radiation draining battery. None of this is what I'm looking for. Oh, Lord. Um, hyperdrive room. Or ventilation. Ventilation fan! Come on, where's that? Troubleshooting, that's not what I want. Viewing room. Damn. I'm just panicking a little bit. Alright, so if there's a crack in the room, there's not. If no hole breaches found, access ventilation interface. Check if any fans are experiencing a mechanical failure or a software failure. Strike affected ventilation fan with heavy blunt object and observe whether operational activity changes. So maybe we just have to do it again. I think I was on the right path. Um, oh, we can diagnose it. Software failure. So it is a software failure. Let's go back to room one. There it is. So we need to suspend this driver and reinstall it. Transferreg.cl needs to be paused as well. Okay, I reinstall. Should be just fine. Oh, gotta suspend this one too. Dang. And there was like a fan noise that I wasn't noticing. Just a little bit of white noise. And there now it's come back. So I think the problem is fixed. That is a very subtle thing. I like that about this game. Super duper. Neato, right on gang. Um, are we done scanning sectors? Yeah, we've scanned seven sectors. We are good to go home. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Starbase, here we come! Killed two Reavers, didn't take any hull damage. I'm gonna get a bunch of parts and batteries and whatnot. Look at all these points. Six points? Boy, let me tell ya! We're doing big Congratulations things. Congratulations on another successful mission. You have already exceeded the Astra Pilot survival rate by 74%. Thanks. Hooray! Wait, what? That's a lot of dead pilots. 
How can you guys up? Would you like to hear an inspirational speech? Yes, I very much would. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I'm going to die out here. <laughs> oh, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Also, somebody bring me a bowl of chowder. I like chowder. Clam chowder. Me and my brother Bobby eat some chowder. <laughs> oh, dang. So we did pretty good. Running into fawn is going to be a regular occurrence for scans of the sector of the nebula, so I'm adding to your manual what little information we have about these creatures. Did my uh, thing reset? Am I still on burst configuration for those two laser rooms? It's probably something I should check out. Let's also upgrade the ship now that I got like a bunch of points and stuff. Is that is that is that something I can do? Hey, look at that. Two points to install that upgrade. How about this one? Plus one battery storage. I take it. Battery self-charges one unit every two minutes. Dang. I don't know how to get these rocks. I gotta purchase the drones. That's what I gotta do. Still have yet to get these drones completely figured out, but... Give your probe a name. Uh... His name is Dude. He's Little Dude. Alright, so... We've got our probe units. Probe can defend itself from melee attacks by running a significant current over the whole surface. The capacitor must recharge after use. And then collection speed upgrade. Interesting. Quite interesting. Shields, I never really find myself using the shields. I just try to kill the creature before it goes down. So let's uh, get some more weapon damage. That's a good idea. We could do even more. You know what? I will. I will! And that's all the upgrades that we can afford for now. But our ship is gonna be rocking. When the ship is rocking, don't come a knocking, baby. We have room for seven fuel rods, so I should probably order just a few more. Replacement pipe. I don't know if I'm gonna need that. Distribution node. Focusing lens. All right, give me the fuel rods. That's the one I know I'm gonna use. Then I can keep my ship fully powered. High powered. Mineral surveying. Locate a new mineral deposit, scan seven sectors, kill any creature. Just locating a mineral deposit? That seems... Seems deceptively easy, doesn't it? Kill four Zephyrlings? Hmm... One new Crucicite deposit, kill one Tarbat, one photo of a Tarbat, manufacture any compound. That's difficult. I think the Zephyrlings, I, I mean, that offers the most reward points, but I also might get my ass handed to me. You never can tell, can you? Scan seven sectors, kill two creatures, record audio of any creature. I mean, mineral surveying seems... easy. Alright, we'll do the easy one. <laughs> I want them cheap points. We could get up to five points, where I'm risking my life for seven. Is that extra two really worth it? I don't think so. So, uh, let's go here, because there's an anomaly detected. So, it might be minerals. And there's also no life forms detected, so who knows? Who knows what it could be? Room five or four? It's four. Vicanium. All right, we found one. Now we just have to scan seven sectors. That's easy enough. Let's uh pop some of this, pop some of that, and scans taking its sweet time as usual. Kill any creature. That's that's gonna be ridiculously easy as well. My lasers are gonna be high powered, yes. Here we go. Eat this, if you please. Close door. Receive bacon. Ah it's so nice. So nice and relaxing in space. Don't you guys just love it? Pilot. Uh oh. CO2 levels rising on the ship. Why? 
CO2, that's not good. Can't check that ventilation again. Oh boy. What do you say about CO2 levels rising on the ship? Um, low atmosphere? Is that what I'm looking for? Hmm. I, I'm not really sure. I could die because I'm not even sure what she's talking about. CO2 levels? Is that, that like gas stuff? Oh crap. This is one that I've not encountered thusly. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, room five. Get the laser. Where's the debris? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Alright. And he is headed to my right. Viewing room one. Gotta get the burst laser going here. Uh, pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up. Bam. Yeah. Come get some, bitch. You like that? Huh? You know you do. Heh heh heh. Now we just gotta scan seven Heavy. sectors. Holy shit! Hard time. Catching my breath. Oh my god! Attention That's pilot. what's happening! <laughs> Oh god. How to do? Alright, firefighting's not working. What do I do? What do I do? Holy shit, cabin fire. Uh, fire extinguisher can put out a small fire. Purging radiation and larger fires from the ship will require room depressurization using the fire and radiation suppression console in the reactor room. Okay, we're in the reactor room. No, we're not. We need to go down one more. Fire and suppression. Fire and suppression. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This? Pressurization interface. Depressurize ship. Uh, scanning room. Depressurize. Okay? Are we good? CO2 levels? That's what they mean. Why don't you say there's a fire on board? <laughs> oh, God! Ah, oh, Lord. Okay. So we good now? I hope so. Um, it's still... It's still making noise. Why is it still making noise? Oh, crap. Okay, so we pressurized it. What are we missing? Um... Shit. Ah, all right, room three. Let's swap on over. Pump it up. Steady laser, that's not what I want. These are all gonna be on burst laser before you know it. That's all right. I take it. I'll make it happen, Captain. That's right, get some. And yeah. Heh heh heh. Heh heh heh. Got him, coach. <laughs> Can we just go home? Is that gonna fix things? Okay. It seems the atmosphere has stabilized it here. Took long enough, and we're not quite done scanning yet. Oh, we are. All right, then I'm out. Then I am out of here. Hyperdrive, activate. Oh, what a moment of, pan moment of panic we had. But we got a couple more missions completed. Look at that, five reward points. Uh, stack it up. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Stacking. Fucking money. Well, not money, because we're, we're prisoners. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Special mission. Oh, boy. Got to deploy some sort of pheromone. We believe this product will dramatically improve pilot survivability. Lord. The operations team have been talking, and we think that it's worth upgrading your S6 DSV, considering all the great success you brought us lately. Go ahead and select an upgrade of your choice, and we'll foot, foot the bill. Just keep up the great work. Hey! Awesome! I like that. That's at least a little bit of good news. So we get one free upgrade. I think it's going to be the solar sail, because uh, that costs... What is this? One of these, One of these types of ore, which I don't have. And I'd really like the battery to self-charge one unit. Every two minutes is not great, but 
I'll take it. And then it leads to full restore of an empty battery once per mission. Damn! That is good! Alright. So, uh, give me the solar sail for free. Yeah! That's sexy. Alright, I like that. More weapon damage? Yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna blow some stuff up. Oh, we need some... Some, uh, whatever that is. Titanium! That's what I'm gonna call it. Mmm, scanning room. Marks detected space anomalies on the map. Yeah, okay. Why not? And then we need three for this biome assessment. Identifies fauna likely to inhabit spatial regions. But that's okay. We don't need to do that right now. What we do need is one more mission. Oh, creature repellent. Okay, I guess that's our mission. Cool! All right! Cool, cool! All right! My dad beats me! All right! Not, 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 not my real dad! Okay, so probably the last mission. We're running a little bit long here. I was thinking about ending it uh, right here, but this game deserves just a little more time. Oh my. There appears to be a derelict vessel directly ahead of us. It is registered as an Astra Interstellar Solutions vessel, but the payload is classified. Ooh, classified. Let's check it out. Interfering yeah. with Astra Interstellar Solutions property is highly prohibited and could result in an extended sentence. Or returning lost Astra property could please our corporate overlords and result in a reduced sentence. I am not sure you fully appreciate the enormity of less talking, more probing. <laughs> I regret how I phrased that. <laughs> now. <laughs> Less talking, more probing. Oh, sweet. So they just automatically deploy the probe if there's something able to be mined or collected? Interesting. It says that it's traveled half the distance it started at, but that thing does not seem to be moving at all. I guess space is kind of like that, you know? You don't really know what's going on in space, but I'm excited to see what treats this might hold. Oh, yes. I do enjoy a good treat every now and then. What do you got there, buddy? Hey, hey, I can't understand your robot language. The probe found an illegal modification connected to the ship's own artificial intelligence unit. I'm trying to convince it to come back, but it seems to prefer the ambiance over there. What? Oh, no. Who's in control here? Now the probe is accusing me of being an advanced script. No, I mean the illegal mod. That seems <laughs> like sentence reducing bait to me. Let's salvage it and bring it home. Yeah. Illegal modifications. Whoever was on that ship is likely dead, but they were smart. Just like we lost Stephen Hawking today. I'm so sad about that. R.I.P. little buddy. I only made fun of you a little bit. This unit in detail at the station. For the time being, we should return to our mission. So, what's the survival rate for this experiment? This experiment has never been conducted before. I am prohibited from communicating the likelihood of success. Of course you are. <laughs> if I don't make it, can you tell my parents I'm sorry when they salvage you? In the event that I am salvaged, Astro will pull flight recorder information and then wipe my memory. Music tends to calm pilots in distress, like you. Would you like me to play you a cheerful song? Save it for later. Attention Save pilot. it for later. Irregular motion detected in the sector. Oh boy, room one. And there are a lot of them. These are the Zephyrlings, yeah? Okay. So we've got to deploy the uh, creature repellent on them. I think that's here. Deploy cargo. Repellent now. So is yes. It working? The repellent appears to be having the opposite intended effect. Oops. <laughs> the opposite intended effect? Well, great. So I'll uh, just have to zap these things. There's one. There are so many of these things. Oh god. Part of our ship is being smacked. I need to not panic. Damn it! Come on! Are they immune to this? 
or resistant rather. No, 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 get away. Oh my goodness. I think they're resistant to this. I gotta go switch to steady laser. Or it could just be that my power is dwindling in this room. Oh no! Damn. Attention, pilot. The temperature in the reactor room is exceeding recommended limits. Oh shit. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's great. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to to do a thing. Oh, I gotta change the shit. I'm going to need to repair my hull after this for sure. Alright. We're good. Excellent. And then we got one in room five still. Oh, that's that thing. Alright. Tarbat? Of course it is. Gooing up my window. What's in the reactor room? Fire? Ventilation. Um... What is happening? What is happening? Oh, shit. Troubleshooting. Cabin temperature. Uh, identify the sorts of thermal... Where's that? Fuck. It doesn't even say where the thing is. Thermal systems malfunction. So where am I... Crap! It's getting too hot! Oh, God. Repair from a viewing room console. Select and reinstall corrupted targeting drivers. Okay. Let's see. No. Temperature. Don't panic. Don't panic. Suspend. And reinstall. Are we okay? Are we good now? Yes, the temperature's going down. Ugh! Oh, this fucking game, I swear. <laughs> I think our mission's complete, so I'm getting the hell out of here. Going back home, got a bunch of points, we'll spend them in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, friends, this has been Deep Six. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you're enjoying this series. I definitely am. It puts you through the ringer, exactly it makes you think on your feet. It appears to be a quantum computing-based oh. delimiter designed to I interface to know about this with too. artificial intelligence units. I've heard rumors about this kind of black market tech. It's scary stuff. Delimited AI is a threat to humanity. They say this type of tech caused the uprising off the shoulder of Orion and the collapse of the Tannhauser Gate. There exists I don't know what those little are. unbiased evidence to support that a delimited artificial intelligence would pose a direct threat to humanity. So I only have to worry about the indirect threat it poses to humanity. False. There are many things you should be worried about at the moment, including the specifics of our next mission. Yeah, right. I've already beat the odds. How much longer will my luck last? Then again... If we were to install this mod in you... I cannot predict the exact effect of being connected to a module such as this, but it is certain that mission success rate and pilot safety would increase... dramatically. Oh snap. It's a cutscene! Maybe this game does have an end. I'm not really sure. But we're now installing our illegal module in our, uh... <laughs> in our piloting computer, which sounds pretty cool. Adding Maslow's hierarchy, guaranteeing obsolescence of the human race. Super. That's a good end to the episode, isn't it? Systems online. Accessing <laughs> newly installed module. It looks like a, a real bear now. Yes, yeah, silly. Module installation complete. All right, here we go. So tell me, how do you feel? I was not expecting my first authentic emotion to be fear. That is a good sign, isn't it? That I suddenly feel a need to not die? Yes. So it worked. Has this increased our chances of survival? Yes. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So now we've got a bear on board. Space bears. <laughs> We'll see what she can do in the next episode. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna spend some upgrade points. We're already flexing on all these fucking creatures out there. Ah, I'm feeling good about this playthrough. So like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. We got links in the description, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, whatever you'd like to support me on. I would appreciate that so, 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 so much. <laughs>
This has been Deep Six Friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Join us for the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.